In this video, we'll learn about setting options for cross stitch. You can open options by going to settings and select options, or you can right click on the grid icon or the hoop icon. There are three tabs in the options dialog box. You have grid, background, and hoop. Let's talk about the grid first. You can change the number of crosses in between the major lines of the grid. Cross stitch grids, for the most part, have 10 grid squares in between darker lines. You can also edit the color of both the major lines and the minor lines. You can elect to not show the grid or to not show major lines. The grid has to be shown for the cross stitch grid to show in the background. I can either deactivate the grid by clicking on Show Grid and clicking OK, or I can click on the shortcut icon in the general toolbar, and that will toggle between having the grid on and off. If I want to change the color, I'll select Show Grid and then select Edit. And then I can choose among all the colors in the color dialog box. The same is true of the minor lines. Show grid has to be activated. Click on edit, and you can choose your color that you wish for the minor lines. Another tab in the dialog box is background. And the background tab lets you edit the color of the design screen. If you want to edit the color, click on edit. And again, choose the color that you would like to display. It will not display until you close out of the options. You have another option of changing the background to a fabric background. If you click on fabric and click on browse, you can browse to the folder. And there is a folder that is included with your software that is a fabric folder that is found under your Bernina 8 pictures. And you can choose to select a type of fabric. And again, that will not display until I click OK. In the Hoop Options tab, you can uncheck Display Hoop, or you can choose to turn the hoop on and off by clicking on the shortcut icon. Click on the drop down box, and you can see that there are different types of hoops that you can choose from. Now, hoop selection is more critical in cross stitch because in cross stitch, you can't select any stitches that are outside the hoop. So you always want to start with a large enough hoop so you'll be able to select your stitches. Automatic centering is always on, but the design is not centered until it is saved. But there is an option in the Arrange menu where you can center the design. Click OK and your changes will occur. Also in the settings menu is fabric count. This opens up a dialog box where you can select the size of the cross stitch fabric you are using. This is set for 18 count. You can also choose to set the count by stitches per inch or in millimeters. So if I change my fabric count, say to 14, and I must click on update, and then click OK, the design gets large. The more stitches per inch, the smaller the size of the design. Now, this is not going to be a good choice in this case because I've got stitches outside the design. So I'll change that. I'll go back to Settings and select Fabric Count, change it back to 18, Update, and OK. And now my design is within the hoop. 